Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about some Rainbow High news, but I also wanted to throw in some, basically some commentary that I've seen around the community recently. Uh, not every opinion I'm going to be expressing in this video is my own. I'm just going to be, like, repeating stuff that I've seen other people say, mostly about, like, where people think Rainbow High is currently going as a brand. I just think it's an interesting conversation to be had because most doll lines typically only get, like, maybe three to four really good years and then start to go downhill. And lately it seems like people think that Rainbow High is entering that sort of like awkward area where the quality starts to go down, starts to dip a little. I feel like the couple years thing was kind of like established by Monster High almost because like Bratz had a good 10 year run before, you know, we got Bratz 2010 and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I'm already getting off topic, so. Let's just begin. So firstly, I'd like to start off with these new um, leaked stock photos of Lavender Lynn and Rosie Redwood, which the names are lazy, but I'm going to save it for later. So starting with Lavender, she's got a pretty nice outfit. She has fabric shoes, but you may notice that she comes with a fewer amount of accessories and is not pictured with a hairbrush. Now, this doesn't mean she's not going to have one, but in her inbox photo, the stand does not seem to be visible anywhere in the box. This is, of course, like a really minor thing. Um, it's widely believed right now that this stock photo is entirely a mock-up, most likely, because in the back of the box, it seems to say rainbow, like behind her head, it seems to be saying the word rainbow rather than shadow, because she's from Shadow High. So, you know, it's totally possible that these dolls will come with more stuff, because she has a teacup and a little plate that's not pictured here, so, you never know. The dolls might come with more accessories. They might come with less. We don't know. But in terms of the doll herself, she is a very pretty doll. I really like her face up. Um, in terms of things I don't like, I'm not the biggest fan of the spikes on her beret. Um, yeah, those just feel unnecessary to me. I'm also not the biggest fan of the length of her hair. I know this is going to sound like super nitpicky, but... I don't know, I'm just not crazy about this, like, floor-length hair. It looks, like, fine, don't get me wrong, but I personally like shorter hair on dolls. Like, and when I say shorter hair, I probably mean about, like, waist length or so. This just feels like overkill to me. But of course, that's just my opinion. You guys are all entitled to your own. In terms of what she comes with, the magazine and the camera are cute, the teacup and the little, um platter that she comes with are cute as well. Hopefully those stay on the final doll. And then with Rosie, she comes with the basic makeup accessories and a bottle of, I believe, cherry juice or something. It's like some kind of juice. Um, yeah, back to the makeup accessories, but overall she's fine. Um, I'll admit I do like her jacket a lot. I like the um, embroidery on it. But I do feel like her outfit's a bit plain, and I think this is where uh, some of the criticism that I've been seeing starts to come in. Because people argued that in Series 2 of Shadow High, the reason for the second outfits being cut was because they had a more detailed first and main outfit. Which, honestly, I could see in Series 2. In Series 2, the characters all had very nicely made outfits and looked great. Yeah, I even like Dia. Like, I remember at first I really didn't like Dia, but nowadays I do like her. But I feel like the same doesn't hold true for this line, because Rosie here has a very basic outfit. It's a red dress, two fabric shoes in the form of her boots, and she's got a pair of earrings, and then of course her fur coat. Which is a piece that Shadow High really likes to make, because Harley comes with a fur coat like this as well, with embroidery on it. So, uh, yeah. The doll herself, in my opinion, even kind of looks like Mara. I'm talking about Rosie, of course. So, yeah, her outfit definitely doesn't seem to have the most thought put into it. With Lavender, again, I really don't like that name. I just feel like Lynn would have been a cuter name for her. I've heard some people suggest that her name should have been Lynn Lavender, and I like that a lot more. So, yeah. I just feel like Rainbow High is possibly, possibly, you know, just like maybe running out of name ideas for their multitude of characters. Just based on the names of these ones. But, you know, what do I know? 
In terms of other stuff, we also have this infographic showing all of the new stuff that we're getting this year, the Twins 2-pack, Junior High, the Dream and Design Studio with Skylar. They're going to recolor the old Rainbow High house. We're getting Shadow High Series 3, Fantastic Fashion, aka the Runway Dolls, and Series 5 and a half. I thought it was Series 6, but, you know. And those are the three body dolls who... I didn't get to mention their names in my last video because we didn't know them yet, but the pink one's name is Pinky. And I just want you to guess what the pink Shadow High doll from Series 3's name is because it's it's also Pinky. They're both named Pinky. And the blue one from Series 5 and a half is named Blue. They just They just named her Blue. And, of course, the custom dolls. But these aren't the main points of concern. Uh, this page was cancelled and postponed. So, the 2023 Collector Celebration doll has been cancelled, the big 24-inch Bella doll has been cancelled, the Shadow High car was cancelled, Accessory Studios Series 2, the Style Series 1 fashion packs, there was apparently an advent calendar, and five more characters from the original Custom Dolls series, and the Life Size Sewing Machine. All cancelled. I think this started to raise red flags for some people, because having that much be cancelled and postponed, well, the only thing postponed is a core characters themed line, which I think was later confirmed to be this new beach line that we're getting. So, um, that seems to still be happening. But, um, yeah, having this much be cancelled before release, or just pulled entirely, is definitely a bit of a cause for concern, but I feel like all of them can easily be explained. Like, the Big Bella. Nobody really bought a Maya. She kind of just sat on shelves, and she was ridiculously overpriced anyway. The Collector Celebration doll. Think about how hard Maria flopped. Maria was overpriced, not worth it, she only had one outfit, and they wanted $130 for her. They probably just didn't want that to happen again. The Shadow High car, I don't think a whole lot of people bought the car. The first Rainbow High car that they did, so... The Shadow High Jeep just makes sense. Life-size sewing machine, who would have bought that? The, the uh, shoes and accessory, the accessory uh, blind bags, they were overpriced. $10 for a pair of shoes or a purse was ridiculous. Most people just stole them anyway. Every time I went to Walmart, those things would be ripped open. Uh, the Style Series 1, I'm assuming that's the same reason as the first fashion packs. <clears throat> I mean the accessory packs. So I'm thinking that's what happened. They saw how hard those flopped, and they're like, ah, we're not going to try again with fashion packs. And the advent calendar. Some people have attributed this to the um, MGA Miniverse Bratz advent calendar not selling too well. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they would project it based on that, but I've seen that be tossed around as a theory. I'm thinking they just couldn't come up with an idea for it. They were just like, this is a cute idea, but we don't really have anything, so they just didn't do it. As for the other five characters in the Custom Dolls series, eight for sure would have been overkill. The three that we did get is enough. It's enough. So all of them can be explained, albeit theorized as to why, but, you know, it's not like all of this happened for no reason. Honestly, in terms of where Shadow High and Rainbow High are currently going with what their dolls come with, I have seen people complain that these boxes look empty. And I agree, they do. There's not a whole lot going on. Ever since we lost the second outfits, the boxes have been feeling more empty. But I don't know. I just feel like when they raised the price from the $26.99 that the dolls initially cost up until series... um. Series 3, I think, was the last series that cost that price. When they raised it for Series 4 to 30, I was fine with it. Like, we were still getting two detailed outfits, the dolls were getting more jewelry. That really was the height of it, when Series 4 and Shadow High were hitting shelves. It just feels like they've subtle- they've, like, slowly been taking stuff away. And I just feel like people's frustrations with that, of, like, losing so much stuff with the dolls, like, we're still getting nice dolls, but, like, losing those accessories- but the price just going back to what it used to be in series one where everything was the same price that it is now. I just feel like all of that build up, all of that like that resentment building up, not really resentment, like I guess there's no like lighter word than resentment, but you know what I mean. 
all of that buildup basically just kind of boiled over with how empty the boxes are in this series. Does what I'm saying make sense? I, I hope it does, but um, yeah. Overall, these dolls aren't that egregious. Like, can I personally see myself buying one? No, not really. Uh, maybe I'll buy Rosie when she's on sale, which is so ironic coming from me because I didn't like her at all at first, but the more I look at her, I don't know. I kind of fuck with her. I kind of like her. But like, yeah, overall, the dolls are still pretty, but what's happening now, I feel like happens towards the end of a lot of doll lines where you go from getting two outfits per doll to one outfit, you go from getting a bunch of accessories in the box to getting, like, very few. Like, the quality doesn't entirely dip yet. Like, the quality has definitely not gone down in terms of how these dolls look. I even feel like it's pretty good in terms of these dolls. Like, Lavender has a lot of stuff. She's wearing a dog collar and stuff. But, you know, some of them do look a bit more plain than others. So... Really, it's up in the air, I guess. Like, do I think, personally, that Rainbow High has gone downhill? Maybe a little. I've seen people justify it with, like, the prices. Like, oh, it's no longer sustainable for them to sell two dolls, to sell a doll with two outfits for $30. And, like, yeah, maybe that could hold true. But it is, like, just disappointing to see. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Because the only dolls that we're getting soon who have two outfits are the Fantastic Fashion dolls, and those are $34.99, $35. With them, it makes sense, though. They have, like, a very detailed first outfit, and they have, like, a pretty basic second outfit that doesn't even come with an extra pair of shoes. They only have one pair of shoes between both outfits. If changing the price from $30 to $35 would have been enough to keep both outfits... Um, yeah, I don't know, actually. That is kind of high. You have to factor in international buyers, too, because people have been saying that these basic dolls, like these dolls that don't come with a whole lot of stuff, are going to be a lot more in their country. And yeah, that is something you have to factor in. I don't know. It just feels like with the prices rising, the quality is staying consistent, but the rising prices, getting less stuff, it's just disappointing. It doesn't mark the end of the brand or anything, but it definitely is a cause for concern, I would say. I feel like another concern that I've yet to mention, though, is the day that the quality starts to slip. Because the prices just keep going up, we're getting less stuff, and you never know when the time is going to come that we just stop getting this quality that we've been used to so far. By uh, prices going up, I am referring to the fact that Shadow High Series 2 was $25, but then for some reason, Rainbow High Series 5, which came with the same amount of stuff, was $27. There's still, like, no explanation for the $2 difference. I really don't understand it. But, um, yeah. So these dolls are currently projected to be $25, as is Series 5 and a half. So it looks like that's not going to happen again. The color and create dolls come with two outfits and they're $30, but they also come with markers and stuff, so they're more of a gimmicky doll. But yeah, overall the pricing doesn't seem to be going crazy just yet, so I don't think we have a whole lot to fear. But I do think that maybe we should expect less releases next year, just because it does seem like they're sort of winding down on the line. Maybe it's losing popularity, Maybe less people are buying. I don't know, but it just seems like we're getting less than we were in previous years, which is honestly a good thing. Last year was insane. I I tried to calculate how much money I spent on these dolls last year, and I almost threw up. <laughs> it was a very big number. Overall, though, I think I'm going to call it here. Uh, definitely feel free to leave your thoughts on this subject in the comments below. I really like hearing what the community has to say. And it's just fun to talk about stuff like this. I don't know. But yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!